Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you a squad builder for a tournament. Now this is the first time I've done this on my channel, but the World Cup uh, has just been announced, like the groups and everything. So yeah, I'm really excited for that and EA have released a Nations United Cup and it looks brilliant. You need to have four nationalities in the squad starting 11 and a minimum chemistry of 90. So I've built an expensive team, it costs about 1.67, I'll leave a, uh, what do you call it? bit of text on screen now uh, showing you how much it costs but yeah the rewards are 3500 coins and one gold pack so yeah I'm gonna run you through the team I've built uh, it's in a 41212 brackets 2 formation um, yeah the one with two centre mids so in there we start off with Sirigu uh, very strong keeper cost me 950 coins 86 diving, 87 reflex, 85 positioning being his top stats. Quality keeper, 6 foot 4. He, yeah, he's, he's just brilliant. So the two centre backs are going to be Thiago Silva and David Luiz. Uh, I think they're in the wrong positions, right? There we go. Um, everyone knows who these are. I mean, there's no point in me reading the stats. They're just ridiculously overpowered. Thiago Silva cost me 23,750, which is just a joke. It's so cheap. And David Luiz, 10,750. I hope these two work well as a partnership. Haven't used them this FIFA as a partnership. Every other FIFA from FIFA 12 and 13 is it, to be honest. I've used them as a partnership and they've been strong. So, anyway, the left back is going to be Inform Baines. I've used him in a squad builder before and honestly he's just so good, he's my favourite left back on this game and I've tried all the big ones. All of his stats are in the 70s and then 5 of them are in the 80s, sorry 4 of them. Uh, even like shooting 78, he's honestly, he's such an all rounder and if you go on footways, I think he's got like 2100 total stats which is ridiculous, I think he's like the 10th highest stat started player not including uh, legends might be even higher anyway right back's going to be Mariano this guy was a beast in FIFA 13 and I hope he's going to be this year uh, along that right he's like a cheaper version of Danny Alves or he was in FIFA 13 anyway 88 pace being a standout star and 77 dribbling and 77 passing so yeah hopefully he's going to be fairly good and hopefully he'll be able to get back and defend as well since he's got 73 defense Anyway, the centre defensive mid is not Marquezio, it is Ramirez. Another overpowered beast in the BPL. He's been overpowered since FIFA 12, but this year he's a default CDM and his work rates are high, high, so this guy's all over the pitch. He can do everything, such a beast, 7,000 coins. Um, Mariano cost me 750, Baines cost me 81,500. So now the two centre mids are going to be Gerard and Matuidi. Both are similar players, like both can get forward and both can defend. Uh, Gerard's obviously known for his rocket of a shot and he's got 86 passing, 84 shooting. Matuidi's standout stats are 83 defence and every stat bar shooting's in the uh, what do you call it, 70s. So he's going to be like working in the defence more uh, alongside Ramirez and Gerard's going to be helping the centre attack in mid a lot more I think so yeah I hope they'll work as a partnership but anyway the centre attack in mid is Cavani I've changed him to a centre attack in mid because a lot of people have recommended that um, because I've tried him as a striker and he just didn't work he was too clunky his dribbling was terrible but yeah 83 passing sorry pace 84 shooting 80 dribbling and 84 heading are his standout stats and he has high high work rate so I think centre attack and mid would be better uh, compared to striker because if he was a striker he'd be pushing back too often whereas the centre attack and mid can get back a bit more so hopefully he'll work. Um, he cost me 6,900, Matuidi cost me 1,800 and Gerard 5,000 and now the two most expensive players on this team by a long shot. We have Suarez, Inform Suarez and Ibrahimovic. I'll um, go through Suarez's stats first. 82 pace, 87 shooting, 92 dribbling, 76 heading. I've used his normal card, really did enjoy it. His finesse shots were ridiculously overpowered, so I can't wait to try out his Inform. Uh, he's, oh my god, he, I hope he's going to be 
play a lot better than his normal card and that would be saying something. And partnering him is the legend Ibrahimovic and I've deliberately put him in this squad because I think it's like a massive letdown for the footballing world that he isn't in the World Cup this year. And uh, I've put him there as kind of a memorial to his uh, like past achievements and just how good he is. It's a shamey place for Sweden because they're never really going to get anywhere, which is unfortunate. But yeah, 89 shooting, 88 dribbling, obviously 5-star skills, 4-star weak foot, 6'5". I mean, the only thing he lacks is pace, but his strength will make up for that 100-fold. He cost me 1,030,000 coins, ridiculously overpriced. Well, actually, I don't think it is overpriced, but... It's expensive on this game considering you can get other players for like like Thiago Silva for example, 25k is just a joke. Suarez in form only cost me 370k which is a joke because I think when Suarez was in form last FIFA I think it cost about 600k for the first month or so. Obviously he's going to get another in form because of his um, four goals for Liverpool. So yeah, I thought I'd try out this one, and I'll probably do a player review of his second in form when it comes out. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. But anyway, I'm going to play um, a run through of the tournament and show you the highlights, and hopefully I win it. That would be good. So yeah, let's just get straight into the round of 16. So yeah, see how well I do. Cavani, one nil, yeah, Uruguayan star, and it's not Suarez. Ooh, and no advantage. Oh well, half time, one nil. <sighs> not much more to say. Okay, Mariano Beast just stands there. That's the ball in front of him. Oh, Ibra! Oh. I love having these three forwards. They can all shoot. Play like, long range as his crew. Oh, beautiful. Ibra. Yes, 2-0. Makes a little bit of space with the Megidi spin and slots it home. Not bad. Oh shit, I've gave this goal away. <laughs> oh, that is fluky, man. Oh. Shit defending on my part, but I, oh, you should have scored the first shot, not the rebound. Oh well. Three one game over. Whoever the hell scored that? Gerard. Good play by Ibra there. Well, we're into the quarters. Right. Well, three one. So we go into the quarterfinals. Let's see what the match facts were before we head it over into whatever. <laughs> Till we head into the quarterfinals. Terrible match ratings to be honest there, but um, I had 20 shots, 13 on target, he had 6 and 6 on target, so yeah, I think I deserved that, so into the quarterfinal we go. Ooh, that's a nice squad. I'm not sure who that inform left back is, but Hazard, Eto, inform Lukaku, Ramirez, David Luiz inform. John Terry, this guy's a Chelsea fan, I've just realised. I presume that left back for Norwich is loaned out to Chelsea, I'm guessing, since he has Lukaku there. But yeah, let's see how this pans out. This should be tough. Oh, what a ball. Whoever that was, it was Gerard. Oh, Suarez with a turn. Oh, and check. Damn, I hate playing against this guy. Oh, 
Andre Silva, Ramirez. Oh, and check out. Ed was far too overpowered. Yeah, he's like five foot six or something, or five foot eight. One nil down. Beautiful Ibra! Oh, Cavani, what are you doing? Why did you back away? All you had to do was topo and punt that in. Damn! Oh, what a touch, Ibrahimovic. Oh, and then Ramirez slides to block the shot. Mariano chips it in, and David Luiz overhead kicks to clear and bleed, nearly takes someone's head off. Oh, that, that's a terrible shot. Who the hell is that? Gerard, come on. You're better than that. Alright, half time. I'm losing 2 0. I want to see the stats because uh, I think I've been dominating them, to be honest. Yep, 10 shots, 5 on target. Two of them have hit the post, I think. He's had four shots, three on target, he has a more, he's had more possession, hopefully I can turn this round in the second half. Seriously, I need to capitalise on one of these chances. Come on, Suarez, you really finesse. Oh, I hit the ball! Are you joking? Fuck! Just holding it down at the fans, it's so annoying. There's like 30 odd minutes left. One oh, overhead! Oh my god! Nothing's going my way in this game. Look at the way he's playing, man. Where? Oh, yes! Yes! He he might have fucked himself over, he has. <laughs> Get in! You absolute twat, whoever's playing this. Come on. Come on, Brad. He's never getting that. And he passes it back to his goalkeeper again. He is so fucking lucky, man. Being a complete dick, putting it to the corners of like every single corner of the pitch, holding it up, passing it back to his goalkeeper whenever he could. The two flukiest goals I've ever seen. Honestly. I want to see the stats for that. That is ridiculous. He'd have about 70% possession because all he was doing was passing it to someone who was in space. Like, no matter if it was forward or back. Let's have a look. Look at that, 13 shots, 6 on target, that, I find that hard to believe, but you know, 62% possession because all he was doing was passing it all the way back to his defence. Okay, well I'm going to review the team now, overall I don't think it was very bad, um, there was a couple of players that didn't really tend to do a lot, like Suarez in form I was a bit disappointed with, don't know if it's because the team he was in, Cavani definitely plays better as a centre attacker mid than a striker, but... The only bad thing is since he's playing centre attack in mid, you would expect him to like be able to pass to the striker and it, strikers and he's not very good at that, so it wastes like the position for someone else who could do that, like someone like Matt or something. Um players that are really good in my opinion, uh, Ramirez is my third favourite in this team, Sirigu second favourite, and Ibrahimovic has to take the top spot. Um I mean, he costs a million coins, but he's just unbelievable, honestly. Um, I've played a couple of games after the tournament, like in divisions and everything, and Ibra scored four. He, he scored some good goals as well. Honestly, he is so good, and if you do have the coins, I recommend you trying them out. But yeah, if you do want me to have another go at this tournament, then yeah, feel free to like tell me that and like give me some suggestions for players you might want in the team. So yeah, anyway, this has been Melvin7, so like, if you have enjoyed, please hit that like button, it really does help. Subscribe to see, sorry, subscribe for daily fish 14 content, and yeah, peace.